All right, so here's another set of Spider-Man teaming up with another great animated superhero, and that is Spi yeah, Spider-Man and Kim Possible. I kind of have one major idea involving Carnage, like I said in my Danny Phantom video, but I also had a few little smaller ideas, and but I think the Spider-Man, uh, the first Spider-Man Kim Possible one is the most thought out of out of all of them, really. Um, so yeah, the story is that Peter Parker, and this is when he's married to Mary Jane, because fuck you one more day, um, Spider-Man is just swinging, uh, swinging to his home, you know, swinging back home to see, uh, Mary Jane, and what happens is he, he's like, yeah, no, good patrol, just good exercise, no one broke in, then he hears an alarm go off at the museum, and he's like, and I spoke too soon, and he just web-slings over to the museum and discovers that Shigo is breaking into a museum. However, when he does battle with Shigo, and, you know, Kim and Ron also show up to team up with Spider-Man, or in Ron's case, um, <laughs> basically fawn over meeting Spider-Man because it's, it's Spider-Man. And, and I just had this moment where Peter would be like, oh man, it feels great to be, <laughs> to be admired when I'm not getting my ass kicked, however. <laughs> so they d discover that Shigo, when she gets away, was more of a distraction. She wasn't looking for anything in the museum, she was just trying to get Kim and Ron and even Spider-Man's attention by, you know, distracting them in the museum while Draken is in Raven, er, yeah, at Ravencroft breaking out Cletus Cassidy. He breaks out Carnage. Why, you may ask? Because he wants to um, harness the symbiote. Not for himself, because he knows, oh, God, no, I, I just can't control that. However, what he does want to do, however, is manufacture symbiote soldiers for an army for him to take over the world with. However, he kind of chose the wrong symbiote. <laughs> he chose the wrong, um, he chose the wrong, he's like, oh, I know I should have went with Venom, because Carnage instantly proves that that is a, this is a danger, you know, this is not a good idea, basically. This is in no way a good idea. So Spider-Man, Ron, and Kim, uh, yeah, Spider-Man, Kim, and Ron go out to team up and save the world. And I did have a few, um, a few little fun ideas where, um, I had this one line in my head where Kim and, uh, where Kim and Ron are about to be like, come on, Spidey, let's go, we can use your help, and Spider-Man's like, why do redheads always get me into trouble? <laughs> yeah, and he just web slings after after he gets this realization that yeah, why do redheads? Why is it redheads always get me into trouble? Um, <laughs> yeah. So that was kind of the so that was kind of the idea really was that Spider Man finds himself teaming up with Kim and Ron to stop Draken, Shigo, and Carnage. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that was that was um that was uh, that was kind of it really and of course it does you know symbiote soldiers does not bode well for any bode well for anybody so another few small ideas were kind of revolving around um a, a few other Spider-Man Kim Possible team ups that weren't really well thought out for me I just kind of like oh that's a cool villain team up and that would lead to a, some cool team ups there the first being the Chameleon and Camille Leone you know the d that other villain that showed up in season three. Yeah, they're both shapeshifters, and yeah, I get it? They're both named Chameleon, technically. So yeah, Chameleon and Chameleon are, base, are you know, they're more or less shapeshifting around, um, wreaking havoc on w the other hero's identity. You know, Chameleon's pretending to be Kim or Ron, and Chameleon is shapeshifting to make herself look like, not Spider-Man, but Peter Parker. So, of course, so that was kind of the height of the of the team up right there. That was kind of the height, the height of it. Uh, anywho, so anyway, where was I going with this? Um, uh, where was I going with this? Where was I going with this? Um, yeah, so that was kind of it. The other involved um, Draken this time teaming around, uh, teaming up with Doctor Octopus. Um, I didn't really think of what would be the plan again, but more, it was more or less Spider, you know, Draken and Dr. Octopus teaming up, and Draken's like, oh, why can't I, why can't I be him? I, I get beat by a teenager, he gets beat by a guy, and, uh, at least he gets beaten by a reputable superhero, I get beaten by a spy, te a teenager spy. <laughs> oh, man. And I just had this one, like, another conversation piece between Spider-Man and Kim, where Spider-Man's like, huh, red-headed spy, has, and works for a unknown organization. 
well, not really unknown organization. It's more like they call her for help. Uh, I'm aware of that. But yeah, he has this moment where he's like, are you sure your name's not... Nat are you sure your mom's not Natasha Romanoff? What? Nothing. Like, he just makes this comparison between Sp uh, between Kim and, <laughs> and and Black Widow. Like, he just go Like, he just looks at Kim and goes... Okay, seriously, are you not? Are you part of the Black Widow program? Or are you just like? Did Black Widow take a, a dip in the fountain of youth? Come on, you 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 guys are too close to not be the same person. Come on, I'm I can't be the only one <laughs> who notices this. But again, the idea is kind of a, pretty much amounted to, yeah, that's a cool idea. How the fuck do I do that? <laughs> yeah. So there you go, guys. Um, what did you? So as always, what did you guys think of these ideas? Do you guys like them? Do you guys hate them? Just comment below. Let me know. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this. And I will see you guys later.